Now you've heard me say it and probably so many others, but how many people are in need this season? especially the month of December. And we want to help give back to those hungry Utahns talking with Jeanette Bott at the Utah Food Bank today. Hi, Miss Jeanette. And what a crazy year for you guys. I can honestly say to you, this is like no year we have ever seen. And yeah. if we have ever needed help from people, it's this year. Well, and you're getting some big help from the Larry H. Miller Group. Tell us about it. We are so thrilled and so humbled to have this organization helping us this year. Uh, Driven to Celebrate is their event that they do a toy and a food drive. And this year, Gail Miller has decided that she will donate $100,000 that will be used as a match. So all don wow. uh, monetary donations that come through all the way through the end of December will be matched by her. Wow, $100,000. I mean, that is just huge. I'm so excited for you. So we really hope that the Utahns that Utahns come to the table and donate at least $100,000, if not more. Now, I think we want to stress the importance, too, of giving that monetary donation because you guys can stretch a dollar more than what we could go out and use it for. We can. We have great buying power. We buy in high volume. We have direct contact with manufacturers. So we can take your dollar and turn that into $8.03 worth of goods and services. And we do that then so we can distribute to all 203 partner agencies across the state of Utah. Pretty amazing. Jeanette, let's talk about how many hungry Utahns are we seeing maybe this year compared to others? You know, right now we know there's about 511,000 people across the state. So $100,000 will provide 414,000 meals. So that's not even one meal for everyone who's struggling in Utah. So it's a huge problem. It's ongoing. And so many people we're talking to are first time um, users of services like Utah Food Bank. A lot of people have never been through this before. Right. It's crazy when you say those numbers that we could not even provide one meal for all those hungry Utahns. So it's pretty important that we all come to the table for this. Now, if somebody is struggling financially and cannot give anything, can they donate goods instead? Absolutely. You know, the Utah Food Bank has always asked for food time or money. And we have some really interesting scenarios now with volunteer time. It isn't as easy to give time, but you can donate food. You can make donations at Harmon's or at River rich and Chevrolet. You can bring food to the Utah Food Bank or you can take a food donation to a pantry in your neighborhood. Whatever your family enjoys, another family will enjoy just as well. I love it. Well, Jeanette, the work that you guys are all doing is amazing. And I, I think, you know, you and I have talked about it before. This may not be the end of it. So not only December, but going forward, we're probably going to need Utahns to step up and help. Sustainability is going to be key. We see a long haul for these families. We need to be able to support them. Yeah. Jeanette, if they want more information, where can they go? utahfoodbank.org. Fantastic. Happy holidays, Jeanette, to you and your team. Thank you, you as well.